How's it going, everyone? I'm the Stormy Dave, and welcome back aboard the Nostalgia Train. Okay, so this randomly showed up. Why am I tempted to look at it? You know, if I do, we just started the episode from attempt save. So let's. What the? Is that blood? Hey, who's that? Let's go down. Hey, pages. Strange but true, stories of the occult. Chasing down the hidden past of the cursed school building. Part 4. Wait, I, I shouldn't be alone. I shouldn't be alone. We're not the first to come here, it seems. There have been many before us. One of them has either died or been swallowed up by the school itself. How? I'm not simply using the word swallowed for dramatic effect either. It is regrettably an apt description. There's a massive curse encompassing this entire building. It's like an entity unto itself, and it slowly devours the souls of men. It chips away at a person's core. Sanity. Reason even identity, eventually destroying him. Nothing that made him who he is is left behind. Once it's gripped your heart, you quickly succumb to despair and loneliness. The essence of what makes you human is literally eaten away. As if by worms. When this happens, the body begins to necrotize, and the soul becomes as black as spent ash. We've come to regard this process as darkening. And whosoever succumbs to the darkening becomes an inseparable part of the school itself. In rare instances, one may be able to avoid the full act of darkening. Instead, made it to be seared unbearably by intense, violent thoughts and emotions. But most of the time, his soul will be rooted here, and he will be cursed to wander these halls for eternity with no hope of... Oops. I, I, I nicked the thing. Anyway, with no hope of passing or exorcism. Thus, my use of the word swallowed, this school swallows us whole, growing fatter with tortured souls every day. It makes me shudder, just thinking about it. The means by which I have come here, the Sachiko charm, if it's, particu if it's particular as ever got out into the mainstream, this school would never go hungry again. Enter a pink fox. Hi. Well, you're happy. All right, then. To any who may be reading this fourth installment, and soon the fifth, it's clear that you're a victim trapped within this hellish place. Just as I... I just gave you an open to burn me, didn't I? Yep. <laughs> okay, the least I can do is give you some advice to help keep you alive as long as possible. Apparently, don't be me. If you still have even the dimmest... Shred of hope, hang on to it. Keep it firmly in your heart. Never give up on it. Can't stress that enough. I hope you'll be looking forward to part five, whenever that or wherever that might be. Uh, now Pink Fox is licking my neck. Uh huh. No. Uh huh. No. Okay. All right. That was your. You mean this? That ain't soda. No, I'm talking about this. Smart ass. Okay, fine. <laughs> we got us Arby's, and we're gonna have it after this. My assistant Tagachi has disappeared somewhere. Now that I'm by myself, I can no longer go home. So I'm just going to keep writing. It's my one true calling, after all. What are you doing? 
you know, you you mm-hmm. can't hear it just because you're leaning your head against it, you know. <laughs> okay, fine. No matter what happens, as long as there's life left in me, as long as my hands can still move, I will never stop writing. Nor do you. That, that, that. That sounds like obsession. Uh, wait, what? That... Okay. The guide says go down, get paper, don't get caught. Or, I guess, get caught. I want to check out what's in here. Uh... Oh, that paper. Naho's notes. Hiki, I'm so sorry. My readings were far too broad, and my interpretations of them overly naive. This place is not that s- the simple plane of spirits I previously surmised it to be. If we don't get out of here ASAP, we'll be in real danger. Yeah, no kidding! I... It, get... It, way out. Str- ta j- it ba- in a v- parti- er- it be co- eh, uh, excuse me doing so will mi- uh, listen er- that uh, eight that cut it plant Nick. Knick. But be unima- Okay, that's unimaginably dangerous. That's what those two words are. Telling? I, I don't know. Tell- Mi- I intend to continue my- Okay, my investigation until a more reliable method is found. Till then, please, please be safe. I want to see you again, Kabiki. More than anything, I want to feel you stroke my hair. There's so much blood on these pages. They're hard to read. Uh, who is that? What is this thing? It looks like a really big dude with a sheet over his head. But it couldn't be. Could it? Don't even joke about that. Maybe I should. Take a look under the sheet. Don't you dare! Just a quick peek from below. I feel better knowing it's not who we're thinking it is, won't you? <gasps> what is it? Scared the crap out of myself for nothing. Just an anatomical model. Exactly the sort of thing you'd expect to find in a science lab. Uh, Ayumi, are you okay? Uh, Sorry. Guess I let the curiosity get the best of me. It's fine. Just please don't do anything scary from here on out unless it's absolutely necessary. Okay? No problem. Okay, then. Hmm. I think I may have, um... I'm coming. Everybody's getting summoned. Yeah. Except for me, apparently. Okay, so wait. Wait, 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 wait. Do not look at the cover thing. Ah, crap. Go right and halfway down the intersection to enter 1A. Okay. I guess since I got the pages, I could interact with that thing. Huh. Okay. Um. Okay, so I'm in 1A. Pick up the pages in 1A. Wait, there are pages in here? Oh, I see them. 
Naho's notes. The last of all. They're all blank. These papers. Just looking at them makes my head throb. It's like they're somehow filled with emotion, like Naho's feelings have been projected onto them. I can smell him. I'm getting closer. Soon I'll be with him again. Uh, the letters are just appearing on these blank sheets of paper. It's like they're being written right now, in front of my eyes. Huh? My consciousness is fading. My hands are jet black, but I'm all right. I'll be with him again soon, after all. Who? Naho's note six of five? I found you, Kabiki. I found the room you ran to. Wait for me. What is going on? I miss you. I'm going to hug you now. Now those notes, number of five. Everything has gone dark. My body is a black mist. What the hell? Okay. That was weird. It wasn't really scary, but that was weird. Alright, time to go to 2A. Or floor 2, I guess. Look at the walkthrough. It says exit to 2F. Go up, then the way left. Wait. Ow. Oops. I have to go upstairs. Okay, then. And then enter the first door once you get upstairs. The reference room, apparently, is what it's called. Man, I don't know. This room? No? Well, if it isn't a Yumi Shinozaki, how are you holding up? Naho, I'd like to share with you some information I've gathered. You have my attention. What did you find? Your notes. So, Sachiko was the perpetrator? I had no idea. Very interesting indeed. Thank you for providing me with this valuable data. However, you've only solved half the mystery. You have yet to determine who exactly Sachiko is. There's still a lot of ground left to cover before we've learned all there is to know about this school. I don't know if I want to know. At any rate, there's someone I need to find. You please excuse me. Kabiki, right? I'm not done talking to you yet. But I've lost interest in what you have to say. I don't care, apparently. Who was that boy in the staff room, I wonder? <laughs> was he a classmate of yours? A brother, perhaps? There's a bond of love between you. It's what keeps you going. I would enjoy it so if more people like that came around for me to watch. It's quite entertaining. I don't know whether to find that creepy or not. No, no I'm disappointed in you. Hmm? Now, why would that be? Weren't you a veritable fangirl of mine? It's because of this. What is this Sachiko in the Ever After crap? And what are the ruins of the 
of the Shinazaki estate. I don't know if you guys can hear, but, uh... Fire hydrant just went off for some weird reason. Naho's no Oh, we finally get to see what was in Naho's notes. Three. What is so bad about Naho's notes? Herein, I will detail the proper observation... Observance of Sachiko Shinozaki's charm as well as a means of reversing its effects and returning home. Pay dirt! That part we read. This is the part we didn't. Sachiko in the ever after. Procedure for proper observance. The spell trigger is the phrase. Sachiko, we beg of you. It must be chanted once for each participant. Then... One additional time for Sachiko. Following this, the proxy doll is to be torn apart. Should the proxy doll recover from the ruins of the old Sach Shinozaki estate be unavailable, a printed that will be suffice for the purposes of this ritual. If everything is, is is performed as indicated, the spirit will pass by harmlessly and nothing of note should occur. If any part of this ritual is performed incorrectly, however, then Sachiko herself will descend upon any viable spirit medium in the vicinity and all present will be afflicted with her curse and spirited away to the sacred ground where we are now. Procedure for reversal. If you've angered Sachiko, you may atone by redoing the ritual properly, but in reverse. First, produce your remnant of the proxy doll. You intentionally put the wrong directions on your block. You wanted the ritual to fail. Did you do it for him? Your beloved? Your mentor, Mr. Kibiki? Were you trying to make sure he had a large sample size to study for his article? <laughs> I don't need to do it. She did it. What the hell is so funny? You think you're so smart, huh? Well, you're not. So go fish. Go fish? What the hell does that mean? She's saying it's a lie. Aww. Anyone who takes stuff posted on the net and swallows it wholesale is a fucking dumbass. A total retard. Okay, that's an over-exaggeration. It really depends on where you get your information. You're shaking. You can't tell me that you didn't have the slightest inkling that it never crossed your mind something like this might happen. How many people did your little whim send to a slow, painful death? Huh? You're the one who spread Sachiko's curse across the entire county. You! Don't you think I knew that? But Kibiki... My, dear, my dear Kibiki smiles at me when I do right by him. Oh, Kibiki! My sweet succulent mentor! I will do anything for you! Anything at all! But you occult freaks, you can all go rot in the corner. For all I care. Whoa. Okay, the darkness has definitely taken her. You're a horrible person. Horrible, horrible, horrible. God, how could you? It's my duty to protect my dear mentor's job. 
and I won't let anyone get in my way. No. No. You died here. And? It, yep, it's taken her. What we read last, this is what that was talking about. Do you remember what you were thinking when you died? What you were looking at? I don't, actually. That's the one moment I just can't recall. In fact, no matter how much I try, it won't come to me. Your selfish egotism cost you the person you love most. What? You really don't remember, do you? Your very last actions as a human being after you lost all hope? But before you died? You weren't swallowed up by the school, probably because of your abilities. But you did succumb to the darkening. Not darkness, darkening. That's the word I was looking for. Thank you. <gasps> there it is. There we go. Alright. You get it now? You killed him. You killed the man you love. You killed Mr. Kibiki. You took his life with your own bare hands. She's not going to be willing to believe it. Or? Or she will. Alright, I stand corrected. No. What are you doing? Is she... Ba Is she banging her head against... some kind of horror movie or something. Close. It's a horror game. <laughs> Ayumi? You okay? A baby statue. Statue shaped like an unborn baby in the womb. Covered in a thin film of ectoplasmic residue. Weird. Okay, well, I'm going to leave this episode here. At least I got a creep out factor. I was wanting it. I finally got it. But either way around, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Corpse Party. If you liked it, make sure to push that like button. And so far, you can't see it anymore. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. Got a suggestion for any horror game, RPG, or one or the other, or bald mix, whatever it might be. Uh, let us know in the comments below. Want to check out one that's been done prior to this? Click the link in the bottom right corner of the train to take you to that destination. Or if you missed any of the spots on the stops on this ride, click the link across my head here, and our train will take you there. In the meantime, this train's off to its next destination, but we hope to catch you guys in another ride. Bye!